Imagine an idyllic fishing spot, a reservoir teeming with rainbow trout, suddenly marred by the discovery of cracks in its dam. Just as the spring fishing season was getting underway, Panguitch Lake, a beloved fishing destination in Utah, was hit with a dam scare. It was April 8th, a day that started like any other until a routine inspection revealed cracks in the dam. This unexpected discovery, a chilling find within the top two to five feet of the dam, set off alarm bells. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources didn't waste a moment. Swift action was necessary. And on April 10th, just two days after the cracks were discovered, they issued an emergency closure. The closure, a safety measure, was designed to keep people away from the reservoir while the dam could be repaired. This move, while necessary, was met with widespread public concern. After all, Panguitch Lake wasn't just any reservoir. Nestled in the heart of Garfield County, Panguitch Lake is a fishing enthusiast's dream. It's a place where anglers can reel in not just rainbow trout, but also Bear Lake cutthroat trout and tiger trout. This reservoir, a veritable trove of aquatic life, is an integral part of the local and regional fishing scene. The closure, albeit temporary, was a blow to the community, impacting not just the anglers, but also the local businesses that thrive on the fishing season. But the stakes were high. Panguitch Lake, with its rich fishing grounds and serene surroundings, was under threat. The cracks in the dam, if left unchecked, could lead to catastrophic consequences. The tranquility of this idyllic fishing spot was on the line, and the need for immediate, decisive action was clear. As the cracks in the dam threatened the tranquility of Panguitch Lake, the need for immediate action was clear. The dam scare at Panguitch Lake was a stark reminder of the delicate balance between enjoying our natural resources and the ongoing need to maintain and protect them. This was just the beginning of a saga that would see a community rally together to protect a beloved fishing spot. With the threat looming, officials worked swiftly to secure the area and begin the crucial repairs. As it turns out, the cracks were discovered within the top two to five feet of the Panguitch Lake Dam. Justin Shirley, the division's director, didn't waste any time and promptly issued an emergency closure on April 10th. This move was designed to keep people away from the reservoir while crews buckled down to repair the dam. What followed was a flurry of activity. Teams worked around the clock, their efforts focused on constructing a buttress across the damaged area. This buttress was the first line of defense, a vital measure to ensure the dam's stability and prevent a potential catastrophe. Meanwhile, the Utah Division of Water Rights had their work cut out for them. They ramped up controlled releases of water from the dam, the aim being to get the reservoir's levels below the damaged area. By April 15th, the reservoir had dropped 15 inches and was projected to have reached the desired levels by this week. As the crews worked tirelessly to secure the dam, life outside the immediate danger zone carried on. A 17-mile stretch of State Route 143, from Panguitch to Panguitch Lake, was reopened on April 12th. This was the same day the evacuation order was lifted, a testament to the swift and effective response of the teams involved. While the emergency repairs were carried out, the National Weather Service kept a close eye on the situation, issuing a flood watch for the region as a precaution. Thankfully, this measure has since expired, signaling the end of the immediate danger. However, the work is far from over. The damaged area of the dam, which was constructed around the 1930s or 1940s, is set to undergo permanent repairs. This process can only begin once the reservoir's levels are low enough. Even as the dam was secured, the question remained, when would the beloved fishing spot be reopened? Finally, after days of hard work and anticipation, Panguitch Lake was ready to welcome back its fishing enthusiasts. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, the custodian of the lake's rich biodiversity, lifted the emergency fishing closure, allowing the return of the anglers to their beloved fishing spot. The reservoir, with its picture-perfect scenery and an abundant variety of fish, including rainbow trout, bear lake cutthroat trout, and tiger trout, had been sorely missed. The closure, though necessary for safety, had created a void in the lives of those who found joy in the tranquility of fishing at the lake. But now it was time to fill that void, time to return to the gentle lapping of the waves and the thrill of the catch. The state's fishing rules at Panguitch Lake were restored with the order lifted. Anglers were once again allowed to catch a combined total of four trout per day, resuming the gentle rhythm of life at the lake. The Garfield County Office of Tourism, in a statement brimming with excitement, announced, we're thrilled to announce that Panguitch Lake is officially back open for fishing. 
The joy was palpable, the relief immense. Yet amid the jubilation, a note of caution still lingered. The Garfield County Sheriff's Office urged people to be mindful of the recent events and to stay away from parts close to the dam. Safety was, after all, paramount, and the echoes of the dam scare still resonated in the minds of the authorities. The reopening of Panguitch Lake was a testament to the resilience and determination of the teams who worked tirelessly to restore it. It was a celebration of the relentless spirit of the fishing community who waited patiently for their beloved lake to heal. And so, the fishing lines were cast once again on the serene waters of Panguitch Lake. Today, Panguitch Lake stands as a testament to swift action and dedicated efforts. It's a symbol of resilience, echoing the strength of its surrounding community. The lake is now back in business, its waters teeming with rainbow trout, bear lake cutthroat trout, and tiger trout. Anglers, once again, can reel in their catch of the day, limited to a combined total of four trout. As we move forward, plans are afoot for permanent repairs to the dam. The construction is expected to commence once the reservoir's levels are deemed low enough. This dam, with its history dating back to the 1930s or 1940s, has stood the test of time. And with these repairs, it will continue to stand strong, safeguarding the waters of Panguitch Lake. The recent scare has not diminished the charm or the appeal of this beloved fishing spot. Despite the scare, Panguitch Lake continues to be a cherished fishing spot, its waters once again calm and inviting. 